This is Canning Tan, and this is the Barking Road. And this is Rathbow Market, where I used to come when I was a child with my mother. About this time, Christmas time, I must have been about eight or nine or ten, I'm not too sure. And when I come over here, my memories of this place was like, it was incredible, it was like a, like a theatre. And I can see all white lights where they used to put around, the, around their stalls, because it was quite dark then, yeah? And then we'd walk around, know a lot, quite a lot of people, and my mum buy me a pair of boots, like the Beatles boots, which I was over the moon with. This used to be the Royal Oak, the pub downstairs, and the famous gym above. And the boxers who boxed there when I was there were John Stracy, John Gardner, Jimmy Batten, Charlie Magri, Kirtland Lang, Tony Lang, Ray Katoos, and myself, Jimmy Flynn. Do you like a tea? Uh, can I have green tea? Uh, we have only a Turkish tea. So he is the owner over there in the kitchen. Okay. So. Is he a Turkish boy? Well, he's not a Turkish boy, he's a Serbian, so in my country. I mean, we are British, but still. Oh, like yeah. you said, we've been three and a half years here, and uh, the owner is my husband over there. He's busy at the moment, he can't come right here, so. I'm his wife currently, and we opened the restaurant, the Turkish restaurant. Well, was it a pub still when you opened it as a Turkish restaurant? Uh, say again, please. Was it a pub when you opened it as a Turkish restaurant? Well, I mean, we take in like empty building. It was empty? It was an empty building, yes. So we rent the properties out? Yes, 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 yes. So currently we did the restaurant here, and uh, there you are. We keep in going. So nice upstairs food. Now, upstairs is the flat. Yes. Oh. It's the flat. Yes, yes. And like I said, we're keeping going here. Stuff, we have very, very nice stuff. Yes, very busy road and we are busy as well. I mean, at the moment it's a bit quiet. I don't know if it's the Brexit or if it's people no money or I don't know what to say. But still, we okay touch wood. Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the busy time. There are people, there are people, the old flats moving here as well. Apparently the new apartments here, so apparently all this. Well, we are we are lucky we are in this area. Yeah, uh, Canada has changed a lot about the community. People not living together. So, what do you mean by living together? Um, all community. Um, mixed race. Yeah, or background ethnic, or ethnic minority, or white, black. So everybody is mixing together now. Is it a good community now? Yeah, better than uh, before when I when I came. First came. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it was all start. Yes. Yeah, but now it's a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You go more. How long have you lived here, then? Uh, thirty years now. Thirty years. Wow. Yeah, I came Wow. Up Did you remember the old rough bone market? Yeah. The old one. Yeah. 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 I knew that. You remember that one? Yeah. And they knocked it down. And yeah. Thirty years yeah. already. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's great. I mean. Sadly, the, the library that was just here, like about seven years ago now, it closed down and moved away. But because that was like my, when I came here, that's where I used to go, and that's how I learned English actually as well. So, and then the new buildings over there as well, near Kenning Town Station. I mean, it's, it's a great chain and it's going for go better. Gym? Yeah, I do go to the gym. There's actually one there. Yeah. yeah. And um, what's it like? Is it, is it violent around here, or do you find it a violent area? Or? I mean, Thank God nothing's happened to me yet or like my family, but there has been recently some violence. But Is that further down, do you think? No, there's, there was actually one here as well. There was two, two, yeah, two deaths over here. I think three months ago or four months ago. What was that about gang violence? I'm not too sure. I, I didn't really look into it either. I just know that it happened here and the place was locked off as well for a couple of days. So 
and uh, What's your name? John. John, I'm Jimmy. Jim. I used to box the uh, oak. Jimmy oh, the Finn. oak, yeah, that's well, uh, what's the name's got there, have any, uh... Who's that? Oh, you know what I mean? The, the, the big fella or yeah. Johnny Stracey? Stracey and the other one, uh, Bruno. Bruno. Uh, Frank, he used to come, Frank. He used to come in the market then. Yeah. I'll go, I've been in the market 40 years, before this development come yes, up. Okay. This has killed it round here. It has, yeah? It's absolutely slaughtered it. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, it's... The market was good then, them days. So yeah, I remember now it was it's... a point I was talking about it earlier. Yeah, yeah. But what I was saying is, are they going to bring the market back? Well, I think we was uh, sold down the river, really, because yeah. when the council had it, uh-huh. yeah, and all this new development, yeah. we had meetings over there, they're going to do this for us, do that for us. All the shops paid off, okay. what was there. Yeah. And uh, he said, no, no, we want you all to stay, we want the market still. Said, oh, oh, we ain't going in. I thought they were going to give us and pay us off or yeah. kick us off. The council had it for a while, we went all through the debris here, whatever's building, moving this here, moving this there, and look at punches in his stall and no lights. Punches in the stall? Punches in the stall, all the gravel we had to go okay, over. All. Yeah. And when the up and coming building all done, yes. the council eventually went, oh, boy, we ain't doing it no more, give it to community links, they had it for a little while, they pissed off. Then we got another two of the markets coming and just made a, a wreck of it, and we got no feedback at all from the market. We didn't even get letters from the council. Really? But it's a great space, isn't it? Oh, yes, but, yeah, Why but don't they use it? Well, because I reckon all, there's the shops here that's, that's uh, so expensive. Really? I think, I don't know if someone did here, I don't know how true it is, it's about six, seven hundred pounds a week. Really? really? Yeah, come that's on. That's crazy, yeah, you can't. Send a little that. amount for the first year, see if yes. they make it. Then. Yes, give them a bit of space. But, uh, it's gone, mate. Okay, where are you living now, then, John? Uh, I was living here, I mean, I live in Customers. I mean, oh, you still live in there where you lived all those years? Yeah, yeah. I live near all the old, old uh, Liverpool, the old Liverpool Road, huh? Yeah. I've been in the market 40 years. Yeah. When yeah. I came here, I used to box at the, um, the Oak myself. Oh, yeah, I right. remember. Yeah. There's a park my car in it, yeah. across the road. Well, do you know Bowers? Do you go down to the gym, Peacock Gym? Yeah, I go to Peacock, yeah, Peacock Gym. Yeah. You know the Bowers, Tony, yeah. yeah, I was going to school with him. Oh, you go to school with Tony? Yeah, yeah, Tony, okay. yeah. Tony, Martin, Martin does their thing, yeah. Oh, so you know that's like, Oh, yeah. no, I'm all, yeah. Nice, Tony yeah. comes by here sometimes, he has a cup of tea, he has a walk. Yeah, I was going to have a hot dog off He has a walk about. No, I was having a hot dog off, you'd have oh, a film, yeah, yeah but... You're gone. <laughs> oh right, yeah. Well, it's I've got to go warehouse. That's why I shut a bit early. Okay. The rice in Westfields. It's all the stalls are blew out today because the weather. They're not really. Is that what it is, they're yeah? not really. Okay. Stall people. Yeah, 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 yeah. We come out all weathers, don't we? I'm out at five o'clock in the morning. So yeah. that's why I've, I've got things to do, and that's why I shut a bit early and get things done. That's Rathbow Market. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. But they used to have the lights around it, didn't they? This time of year, they had all the lights yeah. on. And where that is now... Well, yes, it, 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 it's it, lovely. But yeah. that's right. I mean, look, look. Look at the stalls, look at the people. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, look, Barking Road here. Oh, yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. The old car, the old Coltina Mark yeah. 3. Yes, yes. I had a Mark 2. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, fantastic. I had a Mark 3, old. Yeah, yes, a better one. GXL, Yeah, the GXL. <laughs> I had the 1600E. Oh, the, oh, the square one, yeah. The square one, yeah. 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 Uh, Ollie's? Yes, I knew Ollie's, yeah. Yes. Unbelievable, is it? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. OK, Rob, tell us, you, you own the restaurant? Yes. Uh, and how long have you been living here? I, uh, my name is Rob. I own uh, Zeta Pizza, who is in the market. OK. And uh, it's been established uh, almost two years now. Two years, OK. Yeah. And where did you originally come from, Rob? Uh, I'm a Bangladeshi origin. Okay. I've been living in London for the last 20 you told years. You lived in King's Cross, you said? Yes, I still live in King's Cross, but I'm living now in uh, Ilford. OK. Uh, and it's quite near to my home. Lovely. Yeah. And uh, tell us, do you know anything about the market? Or is this, is this the market? Uh, the, actually, this is the last leg of the market. The market used to be a glorious market in the yes. 60s, 70s, and even in the 80s. Oh. Uh, I think in, in when... Uh, the council were taking the regeneration project and plan. Okay. Uh, the market has been squeezed in, but there was a promise the market will be even bigger, better, and connecting the the overall see, community. Yes. Okay. Uh, and that's how the regeneration started. That's yes. how the council got this plan. I see. Yeah. And, it would and be great if it did add a big market here. It'd be fantastic. So the, the local people, I met, I met some old ladies. They told me they love to go shopping. And they go to Walthamstow now, they're in their 80s, 70s. So it would be better if they brought a market back, but what would prevent them bringing the market back? Would it be the people living in these properties? Uh, I think it's not people living in, the pro- uh, in this property, it's, it's 
the connectivity between the older residents, the uh, previous residents and new residents, okay. the, 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 there's a massive gap of the connectivity, the communication. Okay. There are not enough awareness. For example, there are some of the high flyer uh, people working in the cities, they live yeah. in here. So you're saying the rich and the poor? That's what you're saying. I, right? I could I could just rephrase that yes. if I could. How would you rephrase that? Uh, it would be the <coughs> the, the affluence and uh, the residents we used to live in here. Uh -huh. uh, for example, someone living in this uh, uh, apartments buildings, buildings yeah. it might not attract them to that clothing yes. because it's not it's not uh, a boutique. It's yes. not uh, something handcrafted. Yes. Uh, but it could attract somebody else. Yeah. But what I'm 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 concerned about. It's, this is the immediate residence. Yes. It should be a uh, market should be <coughs> more with uh, with hand uh, hand done product. Market should be more with uh, unique products. Yes, market absolutely. should encourage the young uh, traders coming in yeah. with unique stuff. I'll just give okay. you a small example. Christmas coming. Right? Okay. Yes. Christmas is one of the most spirited yeah, the, uh, yeah. time in yeah. in the whole 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 year and yeah. and where the community, rich poor, you yeah. know, we we have, every, everybody yeah. really comes together. There is no plan. I haven't seen a plan for a Christmas market here. Okay. All right. I take my family to the Christmas market Leicester Square. Yes. I take my family to Christmas market to Greenwich. But this mm. is my immediate community. It should be happening here. Should we go back to your, your uh, shop? Yes, please. Yes, I call please. it a shop. This is your restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> and you're doing quite well there now, aren't you? Uh, we're trying. We have taken this space, uh, 2017, uh, and we, we wanted to do a pizza place. Uh, so we went to the market, the, the market is very small now, but uh, some of the traders and the customers there which said that we were going to bring a pizza place there. So everyone was surprised that after all these years, all these developments happening and happened, and the developer promised all these nice things to happen in this area, and we get a pizza place. They didn't know that we had different plans and different ideas. So what we've done actually, we thought maybe we have to do something to get the community together. And in order to do that, um, we thought we're, gonna, we're going to uh, use the market as our main point. And, and, and the way we have done, we have done the small projects in the library where we're trying to get the local residents in, in one place and trying to understand the memory and, and what was the fact of what was the past of the market and we have taken their memory and we noted them down. So those memories actually we use in the decoration. If you see all these writings uh, in the speech bubble, the, the people and they're talking about, they commented, they, they talked about how the market used to be and how they found it. Uh, some of the quotes are fantastic. You know, they're saying uh, their wedding dress they bought from uh, the market. So the, the lady uh, saying that I bought my wedding dress, that's yes. a quote there. Oh, that. you know, and, and not only that, what we realized that how we're going to incorporate the market in the no, restaurants. I totally understand. You know, we, we, we got the, for example, these tables the are uniquely are made market only market for us. Market stall, yes. Yeah. They're, they're like yeah. boxes yes, and, yeah, and up and yeah. down, and then Very you can unique. put in stuff. And then this is one, <coughs> yeah. one big piece. And, yes. and also, if you have those saying to you on the wall, yeah, uh, yeah. the, these are the market tents. Oh, the you know, uh, the bar, the made of uh, cheap wood, and the, yeah. the metals are the market uh, storeholder metal. We're the only one still for the last two years. And yeah. I don't know when another, how many days or how many years will take for some other businesses to come. Because until it becomes a destination, it's really yes. hard for a small business to survive. So when it becomes a destination, when you have, as you said, Greek or other pubs or bars, yes. things happening in the area, yeah. so you get people a from all walks yeah. coming and then they enjoy. You know, I think lots of older res I mean, lots of residents they have moved out, uh, out as well because of the new yeah, developments. It's too, too expensive. Too, exactly, and and that also has a reduction on the on the customers coming to the market as well, and as well as yeah. the traders. Yes. Um, I think one or two old traders still there, uh -huh. but it's really hard. I don't see any new traders coming in with some yeah. fancy stuff. Yeah. You already have seen most of the regenerations happening around the Kenning Town and further down to um, towards the Silver Town. And that's leaving Barking Road behind. But the, the heart of uh, Kenning Town is this high street. You think they should just clean, clean the street up, really, yeah? They should, they should, they should 
you know, bring up this, this high street because you don't want to let a old high street die because you're doing another generation. So you're putting all your concentration in a new building, new stuff. And what about the existing community? You know, this is their home, this is their high street, this is where they come for as a community, for their shopping, they're meeting up. <laughs> Rachel, this area, would you bring a family up in this area? What do you think? Wow. I think if you have no choice, um, as in this is where you manage to get a place to live, then yeah, why not? I think the, it's not more so where would you raise your family, it's what you do with the family you're raising in the area. I think I'd, if I was living, I'm not living in the area anymore, but my parents do. Um, and for me, it would be really important that I spend a lot of time with my children and making sure that they're not getting into the wrong mix. Tell me, the wrong is there good schools around? What's the schools around? Um, wow. Um, again, when I scored, I went out of I went out of Newham. Do you think this area, as it's changing, is sort of um, meeting up with Canary Wharf in the city more so than years ago? It was just outside the city. Now, now you're linking it with the buildings yeah. and the shops. Is, are you linking up to that? I can see that this is now becoming a more desirable area for those that would commute into Canary Wharf and central London. It's definitely more desirable. Whether that engages the people that have been here for many years, I'm not sure because do, have they got an interest in that? Are they looking for work in those type of places? Do you see what I mean? However, it has opened up the area definitely for so many other people to come in. You know, look at these, look at all these buildings. The people yeah, living in there, the people that can afford these yeah. these houses are expensive, yeah, expensive and people yeah. can afford them. So, you know, it is building up. But whether there's a connection between the people that actually live in the area and have done so for a long time, are they benefiting from it? I'm not sure that that, that link really did happen. I just don't want it to get any higher. One thing I find when I come to Canning Town is I can't see the sky. And it sounds so ridiculous. Yeah. But I always remember coming off the flyover, coming yes. onto Barking Road, and I could see the sky, and I could yeah. see the big M for McDonald's. That's okay. what I, right now, yes. I can just see loads of tall buildings. We could make it slightly political. Yeah. That's a penthouse at the top. So it looks like these two windows are open, so someone must be living in there. Yeah. And look, penthouse at the top. The balconies look used. Okay. But generally, who you I don't, I, see I don't anyone. know where the entrance is. So this is Canyon Town, where I grew up. Looks very different now. Um, it's my neighbourhood where I, where I was born and bred. Okay. So what do you think of the changes though? Do you know, I really, really appreciate change, um, but it is very different. Um, yes. It's very different. There's a lot of tall buildings. Everything's really, really high. Okay. Um, the market... Yeah, it's gone. With it's practically two... gone, about four yeah. stalls a week. Yeah. Um, and it seems to be more of a commuting kind of community where everyone's kind of out going to work and yeah. in and out. Um, and You've that's got a lot of mixed people around. You've got a lot of... Diversity, people, right? yeah. People living in these flats, they're paying yeah. a lot of money for these flats. So, very expensive. <clears throat> do you see much of them people walking down Barking Road? No, actually, you don't see yeah. them down the Barking Road. If you go in the station, yeah. you see a lot of people, yeah. um, and you're thinking, where are all these people living? Because I don't yeah. see them on my road. Um, but the local people that have been here all the years that I've lived here, uh -huh. I see them in yes. the same area, same place. But the people that are living in all these flats, I don't know where they are. Yeah. They must just be coming in and going to work. Or... You mean they don't really use the area? Not that I see, although this gym seems quite busy, so yes. I guess they okay. are making use of some of it. But what do you think if they brought back a market in that area over the old Ruffbow Market? Would that be a success, do you think? I definitely think it would be something people would like, yeah. and it's something that brings back community. Having that stall that you go to every week to get your fish or to get your eggs. So you know the guy on uh, Yeah, that kind chat. of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We always had like the... Um, 
the, the, the <coughs> man that sold the, the yeah. eggs and the chicken and you know all that's gone now yes. um, but something that just brings back a bit of community seems like everyone's kind of separated now something that brings everyone to a spot what is your job Rachel so I run a company called Mummy Stay Out, which okay. just brings mums together to be inspired, encouraged and empowered to yeah. be the best mums they can be. Um, I do do some of my events in Newham because that's where I was born and bred and I yes. want to give back to the community. Um, and people do engage, people do want to do things in the community, okay. people do want to do things together and get to know one another. So it's just making those things available to everyone. <coughs> you told me last time you had a son. Yes. How old's your son? My son's two. Oh, two? <laughs> He's only little. Oh, you were talking about knife crime to me earlier yes. so he doesn't carry a knife he's only definitely not age. um but these are some of the concerns that we have in, in, the area. in our in our in newham i mean yes. recently there was a, a stabbing in canning town okay i was on my way into canning town yeah. and actually that the traffic was enormous and i was thinking what's happened yeah. and it was actually turned out that somebody had got stabbed and it was quite concerning that 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 person that had stabbed when i read the news was really really young he was only a young boy 13, 14, uh, 15 i think 15. he was and um it's just like, well, what are they doing? What are the young people doing in Canning Town? Well, what are the schools doing to these children, talking to them about this subject? All, yeah, all these all these opportunities to discuss. To, I think it starts with the parents. Parents need to be aware of what's even going on. A lot of the parents don't even actually know <coughs> that these concerns are there, that, that their child is carrying a knife because they're scared that somebody else is going to be carrying a knife. I don't know <coughs> where this is. That used to be the old motorway down there, the old A13, that way. That was the 13. There used to be a swimming bath up there, you don't remember that, do you? Outdoor swimming bath, the Beckton Lido. That many years ago. Yeah, the Beckton Lido. It was out there, the Beckton Lido. I used to ride my bike along this road yeah. up to yeah. Prince Regent's Lane. I'm right. sure this is the same road. So yeah. this goes straight That's up. That's right, it goes straight down, straight. Can't go anywhere else, but straight. It goes right through to the A13, that way. Honestly, I don't... I could get lost in Canning Town and I've yeah. lived here for 35 years. Look. over by Royal Victoria Station. They tell me they're going to develop it over is that right? Apparently. So where do you go from there then? How does that work out? Is that your house? I don't know. Will they move you somewhere or something? Um, I've no idea. I haven't heard anything about developing that part of the area. Oh, OK. Is there another part there? Because I've been told there's empty houses there. Is that wrong or right? That might be up around by Freemasons Road. It oh, won't be, yeah, because okay. that's... That's an area we don't go into, okay. just that road. Oh, Where's that? Is it a bad road? Um, there's a lot of trouble there. Oh, there is? Yeah. Drugs and things like that? Presumably, I know. Oh, I, I won't go up there. Are you married with family? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're there. Are children up there? Um, some of it, yeah, but no, they, they've gone home now. They've got their own places. You hear a lot of that around here? The there's band? a problem with noise. Yes. And you always hear the police sirens around here? Uh, yeah, all the time. So it's pretty it's a dodgy here and there, yeah? Yeah, most of, I mean, this area's not too bad. Yeah. I wouldn't come down here at night on my own. No, really? But Freemasons Road, no. Never, you, no. No, okay. you don't go down there. What do you feel about all the new stuff, I mean, all the new train connections? Well... If it gets in the way... Yeah. It's not so much the train connections, it's the fact that every time you turn around, there's another huge great block of flats. It's like yeah. living in the middle of London. Where do you think it's going to go? There's only so much you can do to gentrify an area. Yeah. So where would you like to live in the end if they gave you the option? Would you move further out? Oh, God, yeah. Where to? Anywhere there was a river. Anywhere, so you'd follow the river, yeah? Uh, no, a river or R a canal. Rainham, that way? 
No, um, we'd probably want to go sort of um, March, Peterborough. Oh, Peterborough, that way? Wow, yeah. that's a long way to go. Yeah. Okay. Don't like living around here anymore. And you used to have friends around here at one time? Yeah, we used to have a lot of friends around here. But they all moved out? Well, I used to live over in Stratford. Which I know Stratford very well, yeah. Okay. I used to though. live on the lane. I know the lane, yeah, lovely. It doesn't exist anymore. Gone? They put the um, Olympic Village on top oh, of it. Oh, of course they do, yeah. yeah. So... So that was for the worst for you? Yeah, that was even worse, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this area is a, I'm not going to swear, yes. but it's a pit hole. It is, yeah. it, it is. What's Big Cave made of that? Well, there's, we've got, there's too many people in the country. Okay. I mean, I'm not being, uh, Wait, what do you call it? You're not talking yeah. about I mean, um, I w I'm 86, yes. now I was six or seven when the war was on. I saw a German bomber. Yes. We was living under, you know, Silvertown Way? Uh, yes. We was living under there in the arches, what they called the arches. I know. Day and night. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. And they, they come over, I mean, I'm not prejudiced, but my my young brother, he was 18, he got killed in the war, 18, oh. in the Alamein with Montgomery's lot. Okay. And my father had a letter to say that they, if they may have to pay for the uniform that he was killed in. No. But it was a mistake. How do you think my father and mother oh, felt? Oh, felt terrible. And it is, it's terrible. And your mum and dad lived in Cannon Town too, yeah? And me as well. Whereabouts I, did you live in Cannon Town? In Oyster Street. Oh, just round the back here? Yeah. When you know it, and I was watching a, a programme, a documentary where they bombed them here. You remember that? Yeah. And that was when all the kids got killed. Yeah, oh, my oh. father helped to get them yeah. out. But he helped he your father, yeah? He couldn't take any more. I, I mean, look at it's like a. Yeah. I'm not swearing on no. that. But it's like a pit hole. Years ago, they used to sweep up, even when the war was on. Yes. When there was bombing, they swept up cleaner than what it is now. I know. I go 14. You must do. To view my young brother. Yeah. Got killed for this. So nothing. Pit, a pit hole. Yes. In the country. No, I understand. No, I understand. Did you have a family yourself? No. Oh, you didn't have a family yourself. Well. We. I lost my. I lost miscarriage sick with 61. Okay. I got married 61. I had miscarriage 64, okay. and then we went 10 years and we had octopic pregnancy. Okay. Where do you live? I live in. I live. He lives in Bethnal Green. Oh God! Yeah. That's just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I live at um, Canning Town. No, I live at um, Isle of Dogs. Oh well, that's a bit. That's better nice. Now. Yes, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Never used to be, did it? No, it was a piss up. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the famous Peacock Gym, and I'm with my friend Dean. And Dean's been coming here about eight years now, Dean. About eight years, well, about, well, more like ten years, ten but years, uh, yeah. on and off, on and off. I'm a bit lazy at times, so yes. I'm not always, not always. You have a good work, eh? Yeah. And um, so what do you think of this area, Dean? Change over well, the time? Well, I'll tell you what, Jim, it's certainly yeah. changed a lot. It's, it's hard, to, hard to keep up with the, with the weight of change, to be honest with you, but uh, yes. I just wish I, if I had, had a few quid... You'd bought a bit of land? I would have bought a bit of land and I would have... Uh, Been rolling you know, it. Yeah, Having a big fat cigar now. Yeah, there used to be cigar. a beautiful pub over there, a massive pub. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Right. Uh, I remember the pub, but I was, I was yeah. about to pull out the time, Jim. I was probably too young to drink in there, to be honest with you. But, uh, well, this is going next, isn't it, Dean? The, the well, they say, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, it's a shame, but if it does go, I hope they're going to they're they're be planning to move it somewhere they're else. Going to, but yeah, I know it'd be a, if, 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 if it didn't, it'd be a great loss to the community, that's oh, for sure. Because that's there for sure. is no, we said earlier on, there's no, there's no um, youth clubs around here. No, no, no. I don't know if you see them when you drive around here, you see any youth clubs? No, there's nothing. There's and there's nothing a lot now. of problems going on in the area. Yeah. And yeah. you said earlier on, would you be 15 again? Well, I'll tell you what, Jim, I mean, when I grew up around here in the, in the 80s, it was, it was pretty rough and, yeah. uh, but... Yeah, you had to better hold your hands up. And they didn't mind that a fight. It was the fight. way it was, but yeah. but but now I would not. I feel sorry for the young kids now, Randy. I really do. I want to be 40, 15, 16, yes. and 17 growing up around here yeah. now because uh, the pressures are just too yeah. too much. I can understand why there's so much 
sort of mental illness now yes. with, well, they with a lot of young about kids. That at one time, did they? The mental you know, illness. You know. They've only just discovered the mental illness now. Yeah, they've got a lot of lot, of, lot on their shoulders. The, yeah. the young the youngsters now, a lot yeah, of stress. Of course, yeah. You know, a lot of lot of pressures. You were saying earlier on to me about the middle class people who move into the area. No disrespects to the Asian community. They don't really mix, and the, even the white middle class people don't really mix what? with the working class people. No, it, yeah, well, you're right, Jim. It's, it's funny because. Uh, I, I feel, I feel, I feel like I can relate more to to to, uh, to the Asian community and maybe the Afro Caribbean community and the then Turkish came, community than I can to the white Wait. middle class yeah, no, community that I've moved in. Uh, yeah, and you do, you just, you, you feel there's yeah. a there's a, a real barrier yeah, between barrier. them and us. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. and I don't know how much is that is yes. mental or how yes. much is, or how much of that is is, is yeah. actual real. You know, well, but, I think uh, we were saying early, earlier on, the 80s say. or the 70s, we were saying. You know, with all this racial business, we it never really affected me because I got I grew up with people. Yeah. You know, we yeah. never had that racist thing. Now, I know there was wankers out there doing it, yeah. but it wasn't nothing to local communities. Yeah. Never had that in their community. Whereas now, things to me, I don't know if you're telling me, things things have got worse. Is that correct? I think I think they have got worse. Yeah, I really do. Because I mean, I grew up in the 80s yeah. Yeah. around then. It was very then. It was very mixed and. Uh, yeah. You know, it was black and white, and everyone was pretty. Everyone's okay. Everyone was pretty mixed. I mean, I don't want to paint it as yeah. as white as white, yeah. white, as white rose tinted you glasses. Get a few, a few right but in it, there. yeah, exactly. But it was very more mixed, and I feel people are much more within their own communities now. Yeah. So yeah. should we now, as Dean, have a drive around the cab yeah, in town? Yeah, why not? Absolutely. And have a look around. Of course we can. We do that now. Get the jump in your cab. They're going to flatten all this area. Yeah. They buy them. They get them out and they flatten it, and that's what they're going to do. Because look at the land round here, prime land. Look at that old building over there. Look at this down that street there. Look that street down there. Look them old houses, old caps. That's all going to go. And that used to be the old what's the name? What's it called there? Custom House. Yeah. That's a new one though. It's been the old one there. I think my uncle lived over there one time. It's up there, that's the Canary Wharf. See it's the white building? Out. That used to be, that's Canary Wharf. Because my old granddad worked in there, and my dad did too. And when I was a boy, a young boy, my dad was working in a Canary Wharf, and there was a massive great big cafe here, and I think it's still there. It used to be on the right hand side. That is the cafe there, see it? Look, George's cafe, George's diner. You wouldn't want to dine in there now, would you? Called the Swan there, look. That was a lovely little pub. And there's gone. That's called Manhattan by the way. That building's there, they're gonna call it Manhattan, like America, yeah? But the, the, the designer shops are all gotta go in and the restaurants. Which they're gonna put in soon, yeah? Oh yeah. Hey look, there's 33 luxury apartments going up here. More apartments going up. Fords has gone here, I just put my car here, Fords. See who's there now. Yeah, look there, I finished. That used to be Fords years ago. Obviously they're gonna develop that next, obviously. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, my name is Benson Chukwudu Denwoke. I'm a British citizen. Okay. I have a wife and two children here. Okay. I have been unemployed for over one year. Okay. And when, since I came into this country, close to 25, uh -huh. more than 25 years, I've been working all my life all here. Your life, okay. Yes. So, but there was a problem that made me to be unemployed. Okay. I had a debt with the Citibank. A debt. A debt of once 190. 190 pounds. Yes, so these people 
contacted County Court for that debt. Yes. I replied court that since I'm unemployed, that yes. I'll be paying two, two pounds every year, yes. every, so every, every month. month. So in order to enable that, to avoid leaving that debt dormant. Yes, I understand. Court did not contact me. Uh, I sent them the, the court form, which yes. I offered two, two pounds yes. to, be, to be paying towards the debt. Yes. Court did not contact me. The, uh, the, best, the people who City Bank sold the case to did not contact me. The only time I knew that they made me CCJ was one, <coughs> when I was unemployed and started looking for a job and couldn't find any. Yes. Somebody contacted me that I should contact City Bank, I mean, I, could, I should contact County Court yes. uh, uh, at a business center uh -huh. at a, uh, located at uh, Northampton. Yeah. I, I did. And it was only then and after then that the court let, told me that they made me CCJ because of the debt of one night, which I offered to be paid to two pounds. Yes. I said, why did you, did yes. you tell me? Nobody told me the, the company. So this debt was getting you, you wasn't getting a job because of the debt? Up till now, I haven't got a job for over one year. So, one year yeah, over one year. As I worked last uh, uh, February 2018, till now I haven't got a job. Okay. I'm educated, I have a master's degree okay. in IT security. Yes. At the moment, I'm doing PhD in policing and security community. Okay. But I, ha I suspended because I, ha I, I can't pay the fees. Yes. So it's a problem. Now, my wife, who is the breadwinner, only breadwinner in the family, so she's working. Yes, she works 33 hours a week okay. with the backing and the I'm as a cook. Okay. But her income is not enough to augment the family's upkeep. And this is why I have been coming. If not because of this place, yeah. I would have died out of hunger. I, this people, I got a friend here yes. who directed me that I should go to Bo, County, Bo Church. Bo Church? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, where yeah. I'm collecting enough food yes. at the moment yeah. to, help, to help my family. Yes. You know, because without my... But tell me, don't you get a benefit to cover you? I made, I made application for universal credit. Yeah. They refused me. They Why refused me. You've got two children to look after. They refused me. They refused that, I should, that I'm not qualified. What, and, what, the, and, the, and the reason they told me they, that I'm not qualified, that government instructed them that any, anybody earning up to over a little bit above 1,000 pounds is not qualified. Okay. I completed every document. Yes. They refused to uh, help me. Up to now, you see, you see I can, I'm sweating. Yeah, I, can see that, I, yeah. ran, I ran all the way from North Woolwich yeah. to be here. You know, Woolwich, yeah, you know North Woolwich. Yeah, you could, so you come over on the ferry? No, no, no. I was, I was I running. The foot tunnel? Yes, I was running okay. because I haven't got money for pass. Oh, so true. I am suffering. Yeah. I don't want to commit suicide. I don't want to commit fraud. No, no, no. This no, is, no. I'm a British. British, a British citizen is not supposed to But can't do you something. go to your doctor, your GP? They are fed up with what my document. My, your doctor won't help you? They are not helping me, no. But well, the doctor should help you? I'm having back pain. Okay. I'm not, there is nothing, nothing, nothing is, this country is not what it was 10, 15 years ago. No, okay. So that is the problem I find, if not because of yes. coming to her, ask yes. for free food here, yes. I would have, I and my family would have died. Oh my God. I have problems of phone credit yes. and uh, all of them, I don't know how to, I don't know what to do. Okay. I do not know. But can't you go to Citizen Vice? Can't you go there? I have done that, they are not helpful. Why not? This is this is one of the areas. Yeah, the community. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why? They could help I, you. Yeah, I brought the, I brought a big problem last week. Okay. Me. Now, uh, see, I mean, see, um, HMRC. Yeah. That is a, a pension and uh, work at the pension. Yeah. Told me that I owe one thousand three hundred and seventy-one pence for a debt I do not know when they paid it uh, last year. I mean, um, 2011, 2012, yeah. and they wrote equally wrote to my wife that she owed up to 900 and something pounds. Your wife? Yes, she. They are not collecting the money from her account. Oh, I see. And, and whose debt is this? Yours or your wife's? Both of us. Oh, it's both that, of you. Yeah, last time under 1,647 pounds, they pulled out one six. They pulled out 165 pounds. Okay. And there was no money in the family. Uh -huh. Now. I took this company that uh, made me CCJ to court. Yeah, I know. I've had CCJ myself. Yeah, so I, yeah they, they, I took them to court. Yeah. Now, court, I told the court that I'm not working. I have completed 1,000 documents for help for fees. Yes. They refused. Now, last month, I gave them a post-dated check yeah. to enable me for court, for court to grant my application. Yeah. 
the, uh, this postage check was made to the cash on the 30th of December. Uh -huh. So that I will rally around for, with friends to see if they can be able to make up 250 francs for me to pay to court. Uh -huh. Do you know what court did? Court went to my wife's account last month and pulled up 255 pounds. That's which, your account? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's no money. Everybody's dying in the family. How can you do that? You've got two children. They've got to give you money. They, they refuse. That's what I'm saying. That the, co the country is no longer helpful to a man. I can't see how they cannot give you any money if you've got two children. That is why I'm here. Okay. They will help you. Community links will help you. Well, I have told them they, they don't... They told you they don't help you? Yes. They have helped you. They, they, re they referred me to uh, one uh, charity company they call uh, Mary, Mary Rose at, Mary Rose, uh, yeah. at uh, uh, Holborn. Holborn yeah. I don't have money to go there. I understand. You can't get there. So that is a problem. It's yes. a big problem. Yes. I, ban I have a master's degree. Yes. A master's degree in IT security. Go to the job uh, uh, internet. There are yeah. lots of jobs for my. All this my phone is filled up with the job application yeah, jobs. But, but each that. time I put in application, it will back. They will, you know, this government uh, Cameron yeah. made it compulsory that co companies mo must have to determine the credibility of the employer they want to take. Yeah. So the company use it as a, as. Excuse me, to go to credit reference to find yeah. out if this person has a CCG or not. This is what is preventing them yeah. from having a job. Okay. There are so many job applications I've put in, but yes. all of them are not giving me a job. So where, does, where are you going to go from here? Nothing, I, uh, no. You cannot, you must go somewhere. Where? There must be somewhere for you to go, like Community Links, they must be able to put you in touch with someone. Like you, when you get your food from here, yeah? Yes. You must get your food from... Um, Bo, Bo, can, Bo Church. Bo Church? Yes. And over the other, because you live on the other side, don't you? No, I live near the city, in after City Airport. City Airport, yeah. You know, Silver Silvertown. Silvertown, yeah. yeah. Opposite the police station. There. So That's you live there, yeah? yeah. That's so, is where I'm coming from. And yeah. do they have this, any food banks there? No. So it's here and Bo Church? Yes. That's the only two food yes. banks you go to? Yes. And your wife works part-time? Yes, time, yes. Yeah. Hours 33 hours a week, yeah. That is my situation. That's, that's I'm your situation. If not, this place is, Community Link is kind. They, is what? Very, they are very helpful. They're very helpful, yeah, of course. And the uh, Bow Church is, the, is very helpful as well. Okay. So if not because of these two charity organizations, I would have died unnaturally. So when I was a kid, I can remember this Victoria dock behind me yep. being full up with cargo ships. Uh -huh. And they were sort of bumper to bumper, if you like. Yeah. And as soon as one ship was going out, there was another one ready to come in and berth into the empty gap. And I remember I've seen this go from a shipping port to an airport. Okay, tell us about the airport. The airport that opened in about September 1987, and it was originally called Stoleport. Short oh, okay. takeoff and landing. Small planes. Small planes, yeah, turbo props. Uh -huh. Probably ten flights a day coming yeah. in, if that, you know, from various parts of the UK. But then from 88, 89 and 90 and beyond, uh -huh. then bigger planes started coming in, jets, still turboprops as well, and they're coming in from further afield. Where, like, say, Italy? Italy, Spain, Germany. Spain. Sp yeah, Sp they're doing flights to Spain now. And the Ireland? Balearic, oh, oh, yeah, Ireland. Yeah, okay. there's regular flights to Ireland. Uh, the Balearic Islands. Uh -huh. uh, well, I you just told me earlier about the New York... Uh, yeah, they fly to New York from there? They fly to New York from there, yeah. I use that airport all the time. You do, yeah. Three Tell us about that. Where did you, you go then? I go to Malaga okay. three times. How long does it take you to Malaga? An hour and about 20? Two, two and a half hours. Okay. But because I check in the day before and uh -huh. I only have hand baggage, yeah. I can sometimes walk from where I live to City Airport. Lovely, it's fantastic. An hour before takeoff. That's great. And usually it can be as quick getting from my front door to Malaga, uh -huh. the hotel, or even the beach as it would be going by train from London to Manchester. That building there on the ground floor, yeah, I see it that used cool. to be our social club. The flat above, you see that one there? Yeah. I moved in there, number 16, yes. when I was three years old. Bloody I'll just go around the block again now and show you. What's the sense you get now? Do you get a feeling of anything? It's, it's a ghost it town now. Is it upset? Do you feel upset? Yeah, I'm gutted because around this area where I grew you know up, everyone, we knew everyone. everyone. Yeah. So it must upset you. Yeah, it's a bit of a gutter really when you think that the community spirit was so good. Um, the second floor is where my uncle Wally lived, 24. And above that, number 36, is where my nan and granddad lived. Oh, okay. And this 
terrace of houses here is what replaced the Victorian terrace houses which I watched get knocked down and door number 30 there yeah. I moved in here age 7 in 1968 and I was here until 15 years old 1976 oh, yeah, yeah. when we moved into the pub and back then it was cheap to go out and drink you know people used to go out most nights but as I say, I mean, it's never been the same since the uh, docks closed. No, okay. Is it seems to be sort of improving over here, yeah? It's improving in the fact that there's newer and nicer houses, but there ain't a lot to do around if you live here. It's a much more dangerous place for kids to grow up. Yeah. Whereas I didn't have that problem with me and my friends. Like said. We had a safe, very safe environment to grow up in. People getting seriously hurt or stabbed or that, it's unheard of, it never happened. No, they was classed as cowards when yeah. they were younger. If you... It's much more dangerous than it used to be. That's what I'm saying, um, the community spirit when I was growing up was unreal. Yeah, so this area is where a lot of my mates from secondary school uh, live right here. You, used to live, yeah. But they're all gone there, Neil? Yeah. Would yeah. they move out? Oh, load of them moved out, yeah. That's all going to be the Chinese money. Chinese money? Yeah, all on the left hand side, yeah. They've started developing it now. Okay. Yeah, you can still, all of, all of that's going to be developed. <laughs> You'll be surprised how much land there yes. is around here. Up yeah. by the Beckton Gasworks, which is even further afield, okay. there's hundreds of acres of land. Like, ready to be built on? Yeah, and they're, they're building on it now. But there's nothing round here for me to do. I used to be a member of the East End Working Men's Club. Don't you go there no more? No, it's gone. Would you think about moving out of this area now? I'm in no hurry to move out, although it's become... A bit too much for you, like, you know, you're not... You're, I like London. You get a good price on and you can... Yeah, I, yeah I mean, I could sell my place you know, for a good price. You a reasonable place in where, you know? Maybe Leon C Leon or somewhere C like or that. Or I could do C, that, yeah. but I enjoy living in London. Oh, that's your pals. Where's yourself? That's me. There's you. That's me, mate. Leon. That's Martin, isn't it? Yeah, that's Martin. Yeah. That's my brother, Mike. I see. And that was taken in Silvertown. Uh huh. You know the entrance to City Airport? Yeah. Where I went in there and turned left to where yeah. that state is. Where I, that's where you were. There used to be a viaduct there. Uh huh. And that was taken in the summer of 1967. 30 years later, the same picture was taken in the same spot. As I say, that's, that's us growing up, but Leon and Martin, they were friends from a very early age, you know, like, yeah. from about three or four years old. Yeah, and you feel comfortable in here? I'm comfortable. You want to yeah. go to bed here? Yeah, I feel very comfortable. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy where I am. Yeah, it's lovely. I can feel the atmosphere mm. in here, though. Yeah. Like, you know, a bit no, of it's lovely. lovely. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice yeah. atmosphere, yeah. This shop, so this is where some of our is. It's quite old, yeah. 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 Right, right, John. Yeah, so this is Dean Ollington, the CEO of his own building company. Um, how long have you been here, Dean? 15 years. Um, but I was born in Breading, Canning Town or Custom House and um, I've never really left really. Okay. Mm. And what are the changes you've seen in Custom House? Well, um, growing up I, I, I was, um, I come from Custom House which is you know, a mile down the road. Um, we, we, the, the demise of the docks, you know, I was Do you a... you remember the docks? Well, I, I kind of remember some of the bigger, bigger ships coming in. Yeah. Uh, but most of it, it was like um, a bit too young for it. A bit, bit too young for it, but it's more like a, a playground, really. Um, okay. You know, oh, lots, lots of big sheds opened, and, and all gone. Yeah, all gone. Yeah, finished. so yeah, finished. So 
So we should we should we should uh, jump in the Thames and uh, uh, yeah, we'll swim. It'd be filthy dirty. I mean, I mean, really filthy dirty. Really? I mean, uh, my mum used to go mad. Uh, we moved um, we moved from from Custom House to uh, East Ham. Uh -huh. Yeah, we we mum and dad bought their own house, which was uh, and that was in in uh, yeah in the eighties. Um, and that was a big thing, really. Yeah, having your own house, coming to customers. Yeah, yeah. it was a it was a massive thing. Massive thing. Um, and then from there we moved to Plasto. But I've, we, we've actually traded and always been in. The family's always been in Canning Town. God, it's, it's always been a melting pot. Yeah. yeah around here. but predominantly around in Canning Town, it was predominantly white. Yeah. Uh, but and, and there's, there's been a little shift in that. Um, but some of the new development are yeah. bringing a new different clientele in. Um, uh, to live in Canning Town is trendy. Trendy? Oh yeah, of course it is. I'll place. tell you a story, right? It's a quick one. I said to me, well, we're we going at the weekend, and uh, I said, I'll, I'll tell you what we're doing. So we had a night in Canning Town. So I stayed in an hotel, yeah. um, at a cracking time, and look, it was like, the, do you know the hotel which is, got, it's like a boat in the dock? I know that one, yeah. In so, here? Yeah. In Victoria yeah, yeah, Dock? Yes, in Victoria yeah, Dock. So, so I stayed in a nice hotel. I had a drinks out on the veranda of, the, uh, of, of the docks, then got um, a cable car over to the O2, watched the show, and got a cable car back, yeah. and had a night in Canning Town. And it was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And in the morning, yeah. this was in the summertime, yeah. there's a beach in Canning Town. So I'm having a swim in Canning Town. Oh, so who, who would have thought you've had a no, beach no, in Canning Town? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. You said about the Barking Road, are they? Cleaning it up or not cleaning it up? Uh, I think it's a matter of time that one. Yeah. Because yeah. because if you look at the Barking Road and you look at some of the buildings in Barking Road, look yeah. above the shops, there's some really grand old flats. But yeah. it's kind of, I think, slowly but surely they will eventually. That that high street may have a have a different face in yeah. 15 years time. Oh, I see. Yeah. Maybe, I see. maybe because maybe the clients or the people or residents yeah. are going to move around here, are going to make that a little bit more yeah. trendy. Because we spoke to a lot of different people. And in this area, and they was talking about the past to us, yeah. And how it was in like you had drinking man's clubs, which are no longer there, um, and the social side of it. Is it gone? What's the difference? Can you tell us the change of it? Well, I remember the working man's clubs, um, East Ham. I boxed at East Ham working man's clubs. My yeah. first fight, well, yeah. um, and it's West Ham working man's club, the one down the Barking Road. And they were like a community when all these men, you know, all, all worked and then and they and buy it, cheap yeah, drink yeah, they could buy cheap, cheap drink and um, and and then places are gone. Yeah, and I think they're gone because part of the community went. I think there's there was the community w which I grew up in, yeah. and 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 then there was a movement where when people you know moved to buy their own houses yeah. and 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 moved out and different people moved in. And I wasn't a part of that community, but that's not to say they weren't a community there, yeah. but I just wasn't a part of it. Okay. And I think what people try and tend to do for my generation, they kind of they look back and say, oh, it ain't there. Well, how do I know? Because I don't live there. No, so, so there may be a community, it may be yeah. a different community, yeah. it may be a, a multicultural community, I don't know. Yeah, it's different. Uh, it, it different, but, um, but the, my understanding is it's not quite the same. No, is that big jobs or? No, just a very, really. Uh, so they, they, these these come up about I think about ten years. These have been here, and Sophia. This part here is the last bit to go. I'll walk you around. I'll show you. It's my aunt's dance school. Yeah, no, they they, they teach the kids. Uh, yeah, the local kids out of dance. And Peggy, Peggy O'Farrell, she was a is a, a real famous dance school. But um, my auntie bought bought that. This is this is coming down. Uh, it goes this used to be a dairy, this, this part here, yeah? Um, but again, right this is... to the bakers, it was, remember Goswell Bakers? Yeah. Well, the corner, wasn't it? Goswell, yeah, yeah. That's where they've gone now, it's a factory yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. Again, look at this, look. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. And, and this has just gone up like nothing. Yeah. So it's like the, the, like the triangle, so that's the last bit to go. Yeah, I'd see uh, it. yeah, this is changing. Um, yeah, no, totally. As you can see, the sun won't shine Canning Town again, will it? But look at that. Look, this is just going up, and I think this one goes up even higher. That was Canning Town, and it looked like a scaffold by now, wasn't it? Years ago. <laughs> I mean, that's a picture of it. You can see that. Yeah, that's, see that's, it, that's yeah. where it's going up. 
So if you can see what it's going to look like, yeah. going up, up the... We're going to have to have more restaurants over there. Yeah, yeah. There'll be loads of restaurants. This restaurant here, the Italian, it popped up, yeah. right? And, and I thought, what's he got Italian here for? And now you know what? Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one, it's all right. So, you can see the difference. You can see how it's going to look. Yeah, and, and if you've been over the other side, uh, uh, Silvertown. You've been filming over. Yeah, it's yeah. going gonna to go like yeah, a, a corridor. Yeah. 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 I've met many people on this project. Some friends, some strangers come up and just spoke to me randomly. And they wanted to tell their story. You can't, you know, keep knocking construction. It's the way the world is. It's going to change, you know? Since you said the Second World War, yeah, I mean, that was a long time ago. And the place was full up with working class people, which are not here no more. And you've got to so say, even the working class people, they've become people with money. The thing that's been lost, and it is the truth, and it, it is the community. The community's been lost. And that was, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. You know, I lived in a community. We had the local pub, especially Christmas time. We meet everyone down in a pub and all talk and drink and have food together, you know, and now that's gone. But would I live here? I think I would, yeah. I think I'm more, I'm more of a modern man. I'm not a person who lives in the past, you know? I live at the moment. The food bank, well, it was very shocking. I've got to be honest with you, very shocking. I didn't realise people were that bad off, you know? I just thought it was like, um, they get the social security, you should take care of them. They get their rent paid. And uh, I thought that was it, but obviously not. Some, something's gone wrong with the um, social security. Obviously, they're not giving out the, the correct benefits. That's what's happening, because years ago, you get your benefit for your house and a benefit to live on. And they're obviously not getting that benefit, and that's what, was struck me as being really disturbing to me, you know? Especially when a guy came in, he's talking about his two children. Of course he's got to get a benefit. He's got two children. And he says something about a CCJ. I, you know, I found it very disturbing, I've got to be honest with you. And my summoning up is uh, they're still building. When are they going to stop? That's it.